welcome Altea Active at home. My name is Dina. I have a Pilates class for you today. I'm going to be using a band. You can have a band like this or a band like that. If you don't have a band, that's fine too. You can use a yoga strap, something like that. And if you have none of those things, it's absolutely okay. We're going to get through this without any equipment if you don't have it. So first to start, we're going to take the band about shoulder distance apart. Bring the shoulders back and down. On an inhale, reach the arms up. And on an exhale, bring the arms down. Now you want a little bit of tension in your band or your strap, but we're not pulling apart just yet. Now, if we remember our Pilates breath, inhaling the rib cage expands, keep going. And on your exhale, blow out through an imaginary straw, really cinching up your abs your transverse abdominis. Now from here, let's add on. We're gonna bring the knee up. You're welcome to go at your own pace, but we definitely wanna go slow. If we go too fast, we don't give the muscles a chance to figure out what they need to do to improve our balance. Now, if you'd like a little bit more of a challenge, as you bring the knee up, option to twist towards that front knee. Let's do one more on each side. And then last one. Okay. Now, from here, we're going to Draw the band in towards the sternum. Again, we're not pulling apart just yet. Lift the sternum up, draw the shoulder blades together. And then on your exhale, press the band away round your spine. We're still mobilizing the spine here. Inhaling, lift the sternum. Exhale to round. One more. And then last little one for the spine here. Inhale, reach up tall. Exhale, over to the side. Inhale, center. And you're welcome to go at your own pace. One more on each side. Little bit of a, a resistance on the band, but we're not pulling apart. And then release, give it a little shake it. So now we are going to work some muscles here. Inhaling to bring the arms up. On your exhale, pull the band apart. Bring your elbows down, band towards the sternum. And really pause and squeeze, drawing the shoulder blades together. Inhale, reach up. Now keep going. If you'd like less tension, I have my band singled up, but you don't, or doubled up, but you don't have to. The closer you bring your hands together, the more challenging this is going to be. The further apart, it's going to be a little bit more gentle. So you decide. But back is a big, strong muscle. So we want to really challenge it here. Let's do one more. A little bit different now. Shake out if you need to. Inhale, reach the arms out. Exhale, draw the elbows back. Again, bend to the sternum, really pausing and squeezing here. Two more. Last one. And then release. Give it a little shake out here. Okay, so if you have a band, let's Bring it nice and long. And we're gonna step on it with the right foot. I'm mirroring you. Step on it with the right foot. Hang on to it with the right hand. Left hand reaches across roughly about the hip and then let go of your right hand. Left arm reaches up like John Travolta and back down to the hip. And we don't wanna go too slow and you can adjust the tension on your band Three more, two, one last one, and then we'll switch sides. 
So laying out the band, stepping on one end. If you don't have a band, we're still getting lots of shoulder mobility here as well. So grabbing onto it with the left hand, right hand reaches across, grabbing it about the hip. Big inhale, shoulders back and down, and then we'll jaw and Travolta. And back down. Abs should be engaged. Three more. Two. And last one. Good. Let's release here. We're going to do my absolute favorite tricep exercise. I'm going to double up my band, but you don't have to. We're going to bring the hands behind the back, palms face up, shoulders back and down. Four part movement here. Lift, pull apart. Now squeeze your triceps and release. Lift, pull, squeeze the triceps and release. Lift, pull, squeeze the tricep. That's where the magic happens in this squeeze right here. And then release. Lift, pull, squeeze, and release. Just a few more. Lift, pull, squeeze, and release. Lift, pull, squeeze, 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 and release. Two more. Lift, pull, squeeze, and release. Last one. Lift, pull apart, squeeze, and release. Little shake out, but keep your hands here. Next one. Lift. Pull apart, and now we're going to pump the arms. Pump, pump. Squeeze your triceps here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Release, shake it out. Let's come down to the floor. So coming onto our backs, nice neutral spine. That means there's a little bit of a space in the lower back little bit of space behind the neck. Bring your attention to your hips and notice that space. Take an inhale and as you exhale, we're just gonna tuck the tailbone. The lower back comes down towards the mat. Hip bones and rib cage come closer together. And then inhale back to neutral. This is called imprint and release. Good. Two more. One last one. And now we're gonna bring the arms alongside the body. Little bit of a space between your chin and your chest, but not too much. If you find your chin is pointing up, find a little pillow or a towel to place underneath your head. Inhale, rib cage expands. Exhale, contract your abs. Can you squeeze your pelvic floor here as well? And on an inhale, come down. Exhale, lift. Stay lifted for the whole length of the legs. Exhale, squeezing the abs, squeezing the pelvic floor. And on an inhale, come down. Three more. At any time, you're welcome to support the head. One more. Squeeze the abs, squeeze the pelvic floor and then release. Let's add on, big inhale, exhale. Inhale, stay. Exhale. One more inhale, stay. Exhale, come down, shake your head. Inhale, prepare, a little tuck to the chin. Exhale, come up. Inhale, stay. Squeeze the abs, squeeze the pelvic floor. Exhale, inhale, stay, keep squeezing, head is relaxed, exhale, come down. Adding on one more time, if you'd like, inhale, come up, or inhale, prepare, exhale, come up, one leg to tabletop, next leg, first leg down, second leg down, head comes down. One more like that, big inhale, Exhale, come up, left leg, second leg, first leg down, second leg down, 
head comes all the way down. And if you feel like you have tension in your neck, just shake your head from side to side. All right, well, let's grab our band if you have. We're going to place the band over the soles of the feet, roughly in the center. Bring your legs close together and grab onto your band like horse's reins. Now we want lots of tension here, so pull down, chin is tucked, slight bend in the knees, and on your exhale, open the legs. And inhale, bring them together. Remember that pause, that's what we want in Pilates. So we should be feeling that right in here. We want three more. Two more. Now if you only have a yoga strap, just pressing your feet into the yoga strap is gonna generate some tension. Don't worry if you don't have a bend. Let's do one last one. And then we are going to come all the way up to sit. Keeping the band, I'm gonna put them around both feet, roughly center, bend your knees a little bit, scoot your hips from side to side, move your buns of steel out of the way so you can sit up nice and tall. Now again, we're gonna grab onto the band like horse's reins, shoulders back and down. If you don't have a band, that's okay. C curve back, C curve back, and then we're going to row draw the shoulder blades together. So even if you're in this C curve, you're working the abs, no worries if you don't have a band. If you don't have a band, I really want you to focus on drawing the shoulder blades together, elbows in close. Two more. And then come on up, drape yourself over the knees, just for a second to, re re um, to release your lower back. Now let's switch the grip like you've got a microphone or a bouquet of flowers. Shoulders back and down. We're going to work the biceps. C curve back. Elbows stay in nice and close. And then give me five bicep curls. No bend. You're going to look like this. Two more. and then drape yourself over your knees, release your lower back. Second set, C curve back. Five bicep curls. Core is strong. One more. And then release, drape yourself over your back. Shoulders. Now you may wanna adjust the tension here, up to you. Extend the arms out in front of you. Thumbs are pace, uh, facing up. We still have the bouquet of flowers. C curve back. That means a slight round in the spine. And now bring the arms up and down. Slight bend in the elbows. Three more. We're looking to feel it right there. One more. Drape yourself over your knees and just relax. All right, let's do one more set of those. You can adjust your tension if you want a little bit more, a little bit less. C curve back. Up we go. Keeping the elbow soft. Two more. Last one. And then release. Drape yourself over your knees. Release your lower back. Okay, let's come back to hanging on to our band like horse's reins. And again, if you don't have a band, we're okay. Little bit more slack if you do have a band. We're going to C curve back. Right arm comes up, elbow up, and then twist and draw your elbow a little bit further back. Come back center, other side. So twist, elbow stays up, and then pull. One more on each side. Twist, elbow comes back, center, other side, twist, 
take the elbow back, come back center, drape yourself over your knees, release your lower back. All right, folks, let's come onto our stomachs with the band if you have it. Bring your legs about mat distance apart. I'm gonna double up my band, but you don't have to. And we're gonna lay the band out in front of us and grab onto it a little wider than shoulder distance apart. And just like we did when we were standing, big inhale and on your exhale, we're gonna bend the elbows, draw the band into the sternum, really squeeze the shoulder blades together. No band is fine too, you're gonna feel this. And then if you'd like, and this is an option, you can lift your legs as well. Another little option, lift your legs and take them wide. You're gonna feel that in the glutes. Two more. One last one. And then release. Let's come up onto the forearms, elbows underneath the shoulders, shoulders back and down. And just take a moment to pay attention to your lower back. If you feel some compression, Come down and rest your forehead on your stacked hands. If you're good, we're right here. Draw the thighs together. Point your toes. We're gonna lift the right leg. Point, flex, and then down. Switching legs. Point, flex, and release. Point, flex, and release. Now you want this to be a little bit dynamic and quick so we get that cheeky little stretch into the quadriceps. Two more on each side. Last set. And then release. Let's come on up. Give yourself a quick little shell stretch. Round your spine. Look towards your belly button. Release your lower back. going to come again onto our backs with your bend. So let's take the bend. Again, I'm going to double mine up. We're going to work the glutes, big strong muscles, so we want lots of resistance if you have it. Drape the band over your hip bones and then anchor the band down with your hands. No band is absolutely fine. Tuck your chin. Big inhale, exhale, lift the hips. You might not get very high, that's okay, but really focus on squeezing your glutes, squeezing your abs, squeezing your pelvic floor. And inhale to come down. Also think about drawing the inner thighs together so they're not relaxed, they're not touching, but they're drawing towards each other. Let's do two more. Last one. All right, we're gonna do another little cheeky exercise for the triceps from this position. So inhale, lift your hips. They don't have to be very high. Bring your hands down, keep them connected to the mat and now squeeze your triceps. So really engage your arms, really engage the triceps. Good. Hold here. Press into the band. Keep squeezing for five, four, three, two, and one. Release. Give the knees a little squeeze in towards the chest. We'll release the lower back. All right. Band off to the side. Feet can come onto the floor. Bring the hands behind the head. Right knee comes in as we lift straight up, so not quite a bicycle. And then head comes down, extend the leg. Good. If you'd like more, you can bring that leg straight and bend the other leg. This is an option. Two more. Last one. 
and then release both feet down shake your head maybe windshield wipe your knees and we'll go to the other side so inhale exhale left knee comes in and stretch it out long left knee comes in stretch it out long if you'd like more of a challenge keep that leg stretched out bring both legs in pause 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 right there two more last one and then release your lower back shake your head okay let's come back with our band if you have it if not that's okay bring your legs to tabletop and place the band against your thighs now inhale on your exhale press your right knee into the band if you don't have a band use your hand and we're just gonna and then switch keep going chin slightly tucked two more on each side last one and then release bend off to the side hands behind the head for bicycle come all the way up opposite elbow to opposite knee and switch two more on each side and then head down legs to tabletop we have single leg stretch so big inhale exhale come up let's try to stay lifted one knee comes in other leg is extended inhale on the switch remember that little space between your chin and your chest two more on each side last set and then legs to tabletop head down we're going to do double leg stretch and i'm going to give you an option to make it a little bit more challenging with the band but I'll show you the first version first. We're gonna come up. Imagine you're taking off a top hat, extend your arms, extend your legs, and then sweep the arms in. Extend and sweep. Now, if you have a band, band can go over the soles of the feet. We're gonna grab onto the band like a bouquet of flowers, and then extend the arms, extend the legs, and bring them in so this is actually giving you a little bit of work into the legs as well we're gonna do three more I'll go back to the option without the band two more last one and then release shake your head from side to side Maybe windshield wipe your knees or give yourself a little glute bridge. Release the lower back. Let's come onto our side with the band. <clears throat> band is always an option here. Place the band around the sole of the top foot. Extend both legs long. Little bit of tension. And anchor the band down with your top hand. So we want this hand on the floor rest your head on your bicep flex your foot and then exhale to lift but not too high three more last one now hold here just hover the leg circle forward for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 two and to the back for ten nine eight movement comes from the hip joint six five four three two and one let's switch to the other side again band goes over the sole of the top foot lay down in between two planes of glass 
Anchor the band down with your top hand and exhale to lift, not too high. Three more. Last one, now hold the leg to a hover, tiny circles forward for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one to the back. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release here. All right, so we have not yet worked the chest. We're gonna do some push-ups. I'm gonna give you an option with the band. First, let's drape the band around the back. And if you have a thick band like this, you wanna make sure it's flat, not all bunched up and, and um, cutting off the circulation. And then anchor the band down. Now, before we do any push-ups, let's do a little cat stretch. So band is right about bra strap area, kind of mid to upper back. Take an inhale, prepare. On your exhale, start to round. Tuck your tailbone, look towards your belly button. Press your upper back into the band. And then back center. So we don't have cow pose in Pilates like you do in yoga. Just the cat stretch. Now on the cat stretch, we're tucking the tailbone, bringing the hip bones, rib cage closer together. And down. Okay, let's do one more. And then release. So, five push-ups, that's it. I'm gonna encourage you to start on your toes, and then when you can't do any more, then we go to the knees. You can always get rid of the band. Extend the legs long, shoulders back and down. Inhale to come down and exhale, press up into the band. Core strong, thighs are engaged. Two more. Last one. And then knees down. You can place the band off to the side. Let's take a shelf stretch. Again, we're rounding the spine. A little bit different than a child's pose in yoga. All right, let's come on up. Going to extend the legs long, hips back, buns of steel out of the way, and bring your feet a little bit a little bit wider than hip bone distance apart. Spine stretch forward. We'll round the spine and on an inhale, come up. Let's think about one vertebra at a time. So tucking the chin, then upper back, and then all the way up. And then round and come all the way up. Good, now we can take the band as an option. Again, we're going to bring it behind the back, keeping your band thick if you have a thick band, and extend the arms out. Your band is just here as a guide, shoulders back and down, doesn't matter how you hang on to it. Take an inhale, sit up tall, on your exhale, three little twists, ch, ch, ch. inhale, center. Last one. And then just come to any comfortable seated position. Do a little bit of lateral flexion to end the class. One more on each side. And then we'll come center. Take a big inhale. Exhale the arms to shoulder height. Bring your hands in front of your face. And thank you very much, everyone. My name is Dina. This has been Pilates. Take care, and we'll see you soon. Bye.